It's always an eerie scene when Bray Wyatt enters an arena and the fireflies come out. Intimidating, frightening. Just has an innate ability to mentally disturb anyone who opposes him. And he's awake now. He's woken, Cole. Distinctly different. Explain that to me, Corey. One that cannot truly understand woken wisdom can never adequately understand it. What kind of riddle is that? It's woken. Sounds like gibberish. All I know is that he believes he's been reincarnated. That he's been freed of Sister Abigail. Well, uh, I'm not going to argue with him. Ray Wyatt's true essence is no longer suppressed. Feels like he's more terrifying and more dangerous now than he's ever been. Bray's thinking clearly. Well, Bray's opponent tonight is going to find that out firsthand. Spine tingling presence. Bask in the warmth of woken wisdom. Bask in the warmth of weirdness. He's here. Finn Balor has unlocked the crypts of the underworld in his mind and unleashed the demon. And what a big fight we're about to witness. When Balor dons the war paint, it's like his abilities are taken to the next level. Finn Balor said the demon is where his artistic and wrestling sides meet. It allows him to release his inner demon and channel a more aggressive side of his personality. Every superstar has that, that one attribute, that one innate feeling that takes them to the next level, that drives them to go that much harder. That innate attribute for Finn Balor truly is the demon.
What a strike. Right on the mark. More than a rivalry was born when Bray Wyatt set his sights on Finn Balor. The Eater of Worlds interfered in Balor's matches and crept into his psyche. Bray Wyatt wanted to torture Balor from the inside and dismantle every aspect of Finn's being in the process. By the way, Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor charged at each other, Michael. You knew their encounter was going to be grueling, both physically and psychologically. It was impossible to predict who could survive long enough to emerge victorious. I want to reiterate the disturbing length Bray Wyatt went to in his quest to torment Finn Balor with this example. After Wyatt defeated Finn on the Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam, Bray covered his opponent in a mysterious red liquid. Bray learned that he targeted someone who, if pushed far enough, could take on a different form and be just as methodical as he is. In SummerSlam, Finn Balor unleashed his demon, and the world saw two forces from other realms clash. Pretty awesome sight. Once the bell rings, anyone who opposes the Demon King better have a plan. The priority in that plan must be to stay away from the Demon's explosive quickness. Dominating shoulder tackle. Boom, what impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Corey, as you discussed before, it is essential for a superstar to have a plan against the Demon King. That plan has to revolve around avoiding the speed of this powerful Irish warrior. I think it's bad enough you have to go up against the Demon King, but trying to stay away from his speed and agility makes the task that much harder. But you have to do it. What a strike. Harsh impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Back elbow. Jeez, you see that? What a strike. What a strike. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. <laughs> oh, what a Samoan drop. I'm the eater of world. Better stay right where he is. He's definitely tapped a power source. Ray White drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. I can't I'm believe it, Michael. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, look at the elbow after. Here is Bray Wyatt in position now. Now Bray Wyatt, Sister Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. I knew it was only a matter of time. Bray Wyatt got it done. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. That match wasn't very memorable, but the Superstar showed a couple of glimpses of doing some good things. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt! A terrific victory for Bray Wyatt here tonight. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. And there's no denying that the Santa Clara crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Would you listen to them? Yeah.